so now that I have my base petals uh, painted out, um, I need to work a little bit in the background. All right, so to work in the background, I'm going to paint on this underpainting layer some more. I did a little bit of it while I was kind of working down here, but I need to go ahead and shore that up a little bit. The other thing is, is my palette's probably not going to do me much good on this layer, so I'm going to get my palette to its own layer by just highlighting that region, Control Xing to cut it, and pasting it on its own layer. Now this new layer, I'm going to actually call it Palette, and um, we'll see how I did on that. And I'll move that up to the top and just leave it there, and probably lock that palette layer so that. I can paint underneath it until I need to. Now I'm just going to quickly do some of the um, painting out here to get some some of the background in. I'm not too worried about the way the background looks. I really just want to have some some browns and some some greens. So I'm going to get some greens going along the edge here and see if I can just get some some stuff down there. Uh, it's not going to be a, a big deal as I'm painting that area. All right, I'm going to do that in all these little sections and paint because I want to kind of kind of have the whole picture laid out as I'm as I'm working on it. And definitely definitely get some uh, little foliage going on you know nothing nothing too fancy just little green things going different ways and I'll have some some highlighted green things and in the end I'm probably going to just do some blurring on those to make them go away and we'll just kind of fake it if you will cuz it's just not a not a big deal to me and uh definitely get some of the asphalt over here clean up the edge of on that pedal And let's see, a little darker. Let's see how that looks. And uh, and then cover that up. Get some green, green in there. Um, there you go. All right, and uh, a little bit down here. Let's see how that works. All right, and then we need a little bit of this green over here on this side. So at this point, I'd say my uh, underpainting is about how it needs to be. Like I said, I'm not worrying about the stuff in the middle just yet because I'll put those on top because they definitely have those shadows going on. So I'm just going to get it to about this point and call that underpainting complete.